So I get tons and tons of questions about hydroquinone every single day. One of the questions I get very often is, does hydroquinone need to be cycled every three months? Now, right. I don't know where the three month concept has come from because that's never really been specifically stated anywhere. And I also don't understand why it has to be three months so, or why you need a break anyway. But what I did do to build further understand this is I kind of, I went back to the FDA approval trials that were used for Triluma. And Triluma is the FDA approved triple formulation or triple combination treatment for melasma. Um, and it's a combination of 4% hydroquinone with a very mild steroid and tretinoin. Now this is, like I said, FDA approved specifically for the treatment of melasma. And the study participants um, were used were using tri Triluma for eight weeks. So that's a short-term clinical trial, and that involved 451 patients. And that's where they got the license for. So the license for Triluma is actually for eight weeks. So if you're getting Triluma from a doctor, what your doctor should be saying is, you can only use this treatment for eight weeks at a time because that's what the license is for. So three months, I'm not sure where that came from. It's eight weeks, according to the FDA. So in the trial, I'm just gonna like read some of this out to you. There are 550 patients using Triluma. 315 patients had more than one course of treatment, and the course of treatment is eight weeks long, but the average duration of the total treatment in, this patient, in these patients exceeded 180 days. So that's without including prior Triluma treatment, which was the first eight weeks. There are 300 patients who've had cumulative use of Triluma cream for over six months, and over 400 use it for at least three months. Some patients had continuous use for 12 months, and none of them developed exogenous ochronosis, just FYI. The most common adverse effects of Triluma were redness, peeling of the skin, burning of the skin, dryness of the skin, and itchiness, right? The group of patients who had it for eight weeks, they went into an open label trial and then they had a cumulative treatment of melasma with Triluma for six months and they had a similar pattern of adverse events as in the eight-week study. Again, no evidence of exogenous ochronosis. Now, there was a group um, who in 2005, this is back when Triluma was first approved, they did a large 12-month extension study of the eight-week trial to evaluate the safety and efficacy of Triluma cream in melasma patients. And they found that it was safe and there was no evidence of exogenous ochronosis um, in patients using it for up to a year, okay? Now, that has actually, that's, that's quite good data, but Triluma itself, and I'm gonna read this as in the FDA, is not indicated for the maintenance treatment of melasma and the safety and effectiveness of Triluma has not been demonstrated in patients with skin types um, five and six, okay? So Triluma is actually not licensed for patients with darker skin types. And the treatment cycle is meant to be eight weeks long. So whoever talks about three months or 12 weeks, it doesn't really make any sense at all. So um, it's all a bit of a mess actually, because when patients, when people say 12 weeks, you know, eight weeks, the FDA license is for eight weeks for Triluma. And that's what's most commonly prescribed in the United States anyway. Um, when I treat melasma, I treat it with different strengths of hydroquinone depending on the patient, and I treat for a clinical endpoint. And I'm using a compounded formulation. It's not um, a licensed commercial drug. I'm using the drug on its own in a compounded formula. Um, I use it to treat a clinical endpoint. So I'm looking for melasma clearance or a great deal of improvement in melasma. And that's how I judge the endpoint. So whether that takes four weeks, whether that takes eight weeks, whether that takes 12 weeks or longer, it really depends on the patient, how compliant they are with the treatment and how bad their melasma is to begin with. I also do other treatments at the same time to really get it clear. So there is no time period and there is no um, limit or number of days that we're looking for. Just like with acne treatment, just like with any other treatment, it has to do with the patient and what you can see on their skin and not some arbitrary number that has just been kind of made up. So the point of this post is to say that there is no number. So three, three months isn't some magic cutoff time, either is eight weeks, so that's what the FDA has studied. So it depends what you're using, where you're using it, how you're using it. I have a lot of experience using hydroquinone. I'm quite comfortable using it with my patients until I know their melasma is clear, which often just takes a few months anyway, and then we start to reduce it down. And that's how we should be treating skin disease because it's disease we can see. So you should treat it to a clinical endpoint, not by a number of weeks or days.